Hello, kindergartners. It's so good to see you. Let's go ahead and get started on our calendar this morning. We are in the month of November. That's right, November. What sound do you hear at the beginning of November? Mm, and what letter makes that sound? The letter N. Yes, there's our letter N for November. Good, kindergartners. Now let's find out how many syllables are in November. Let's clap together. Ready? November. 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 How many times did we clap for November? Three times. That's right. So there are three syllables in the word November. Good. Let's go ahead and get started counting. Please count with me. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's right. Thirteenth. We are on the thirteenth day. Now let's look at our pattern. Are we going to have a green leaf or an orange leaf on the 13th day? Ready? Orange, green, green. Orange, green, green. Orange, green, green. Orange, green, green. What do you think it is, kindergartners? Okay, let's take a peek. Ready? It is orange. The 13th day of November is an orange leaf. Fantastic. Okay, so today is November 13th. It is a Friday. Today is Friday, then tomorrow will be Saturday. If today is Friday, then yesterday was th th Thursday. Good. Let's sing our Days of the Week song together. Ready? Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Fantastic, kindergartners. Now we need to go ahead and count how many days we have been in school in kindergarten. So we are going to add a popsicle stick to our basket. And then we're going to count them right up. All right, kindergartners, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. There are seven popsicle sticks in our ones place. So we need to look at our number for the ones place. Is this the number seven? No, this is the number six. Let's change it to another number and see. Is this the number seven? Yes, there's our number seven. All right, now we need to count our tens place. Are you ready, kindergartners? You can be counting with your ten fingers. Oops. Okay, I'm back. All right, ready? Count with your ten fingers. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. There are forty sticks in our basket. So we're going to leave the number four here because it is in the tens place and it's the four for 40. So we have 47 days of school. We've been at school for 47 days. That is amazing, kindergarten. We're almost at 50. That should be like a party or something. All right, my friends, 47 days of school. Let's count to 47, but we're going to count with tens. And then we're going to add our ones at the end. Okay, ready? Count with me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 47 days. Now you know that's not all the counting we're going to do, right, kindergartners? We need to count by ones now all the way from 1 to 47. We have a lot to count. Let's go ahead and get started counting. Let's move our bodies while we are counting. So from 1 to 10, let's shrug our shoulders. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good. And from 11 to 20, let's nod our heads. Ready? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, from 21 to 30, I think we should march. You can't see my legs, but they're marching. Ready? 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Good. Now from 31 to 40, let's do some arm stretches up in the air. Ready? 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Good. Now from 41 just to 47, we're going to clap. Clap with me. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. Fantastic, kindergartners. We got all the way to 47 with our bodies and our minds and our counting. I'm really proud of you. Okay, kindergarten, let's look at some numbers today. Since we are doing our counting. I'm going to show you some numbers today, and I want you first, let's say these numbers. What number is this one? Zero. Four. Ten. Three. Six. Two. Eight. Five. Nine, one, seven. Good. Now we know our numbers. Now I want to compare our numbers. Comparing means we look at two different ones and we decide what we know about each one of them. Today I want to compare and see which one is more, which one is bigger or more, has more of it or is bigger. I dropped some so I'm going to pick them up. Okay, my friends, so let's start with these two numbers. This is the number four, and this is the number seven. Which number has more or is bigger? The number seven is bigger than the number four. Yes, it has more. Okay, my friends, now let's do our next two numbers. This is the number nine and this is the number one which one is more which one is bigger the number nine it has more it is bigger than the number one great job okay my friends what number is this one eight and what number is this five which number is bigger which one has more the number eight, look, it has three more than the number five. So it is bigger. The number eight is bigger or has more. Okay, we've got a couple more. What number is this one? Six. And what number is this? Two. Which one is bigger? Which one has more? The number six. The number six is bigger than the number two. Great job. Okay, the last one's for numbers. What number is this one? Ten. And what number is this? Three. Yes, which one is bigger? Which one has more? The number ten, it has more. It is bigger. Good job, kindergartners. We're going to keep comparing numbers and trying to figure them all out. Our letter of the week this week is the letter... T, the letter T. What sound does the letter T make? T, t. Yes. Can you think of some t words like t turtle, tooth? What do you play with at home? Toys? Yes, those are letter T words. Let's write our letter T in the air. Ready? Put your finger up in the air. We're going to make a line down. Then we're going to come up and we're going to give it a hat, make a line across for the letter T. It says, you can also make the letter T with your hand. In sign language, you put your thumb right in between those fingers, and that is the letter T in sign language. Okay, my friends, I have some cards for us, some different pictures. We're going to look at these pictures, and I'm going to say it in parts, and then you're going to say the whole word, okay? So we have the, let me get my alphabet over here too. We have t-ost, 
Toast. Yes. What sound do you hear at the beginning of toast? T. Yes, that is the letter T. Good. Okay, my friends, this is s un. Sun. What sound do you hear at the beginning of sun? S and what letter is that? What letter makes the s sound? S. Good. Okay, this is the word t n. Ten. Yes, what sound do you hear at the beginning of ten? T. And what letter makes that sound? T. Good. Okay, this is a t op. Top. What sound do you hear at the beginning of top? T. And what letter makes that sound? T. Good. Okay, one more, my kindergarten friends. This is a m op. Mop. What sound is at the beginning of mop? Mmm, that's right. And what letter makes the mmm sound? M. Good. Okay, kindergarten. I want to look at our letters that we have been learning and do some sounds with them. So this is what letter? M. And what sound does it make? Mmm, good. This is what letter? S. What sound does it make? This is what letter? A. And what sound does it make? Ah. And this is what letter? T. What sound does it make? T. Good, kindergarten. Okay, let's look at our sight words today. We have lots of sight words. We're going to spell our sight word, and then we're going to say it. So spelling means we say the letters, and then we will say the word. So let's spell it together. Ready? L I K E like good A N D and I I T H E the S E E C W E we good job kindergartners now i have a book to read to you in just a couple of weeks we are going to be celebrating across our nation across the united states a day called thanksgiving thanksgiving is where we say thank you for all the wonderful things in our lives there are lots of things we can be thankful for we can be thankful for snow because we can play outside and build snowmen we can be thankful for pickles because they're crunchy and sour and delicious we can be thankful for our families because they love us we can be thankful for school where we get to go and learn so that is what we do on thanksgiving we say thank you for all the things that we have so this book is called give thanks for each day it is written by steve metzger he is the author what does the author do they write the words and the illustrator is robert mcphillips what does the illustrator do draws the pictures. Yes, so let's look at this one. It says, give thanks for each day, and give thanks for each night, for colorful flowers, for stars shining bright. Give thanks for new crayons, red and green and blue. Give thanks for the moments when wishes come true. Give thanks for the train that chugs down the track. Give thanks for the comfort when mommy comes back. Give thanks for a puzzle or a favorite bear. The thrill when you're lifted way up in the air. A hug, a parade, a bath, a new toy. I heard a T word, did you hear it? Toy. The things in our world that fill us with joy. Give thanks for a walk by a lake in the park. Give thanks for the light in our home after dark. Give thanks for the snowflakes that fall from above. For getting together with the people you love. Give thanks for sweet ice cream. Yum, yeah. 
for ducks in a row. Give thanks for great stories which help you to grow. Give thanks for the ocean. Give thanks for the sand. The sweet, simple pleasure when we are holding hands. Give thanks for I love you. Did you know that there's a way to say I love you with your hand? If you do that, it means I love you. The best words to say. Give thanks for each night and give thanks for each day. Well, kindergartners, I am incredibly thankful for you. I say thank you for being my kindergartners and for watching these videos with me and joining me at calendar time. I am thankful for you. All right, I will see you next time. You all have a great weekend. Bye.